at the Last Supper, Jesus knelt down and washed the feet of the apostles, or something a slave would do as an act of humility, an act of charity to show the apostles that this is the kind of life, <coughs> kind of life I want you to lead, a life of service, a life of charity, a life of sacrifice, a life of humility. That's how my leaders are supposed to be. That's how I want my leaders to be. Humble leaders, leaders who are ready to sacrifice themselves for the those who they serve and represent. So Jesus set this example, kind of really, really uh, declaring example to kneel down and wash the feet of other human beings. Here he is, Almighty God, washing the feet of men. So this one of many examples of Jesus, his whole life, the life of Jesus was one great example. Everything that he did was one perfect example. He's, he's our ultimate model, our ultimate example. But in order to, to know what he did and how to practice it and how to, how to imitate it, we have to really meditate on, on the Gospels. We need to really read them and think about them and look at the nitty-gritty nitty -gritty details of what he did and how he spoke and even you know his gestures, which you can grasp to some extent as we read. But, you know, even there we don't have a full picture. We have to uh, look at the saints and look at practical examples of people who have strived to imitate Jesus and, and the, how the examples that they set. And the Holy Spirit's going to guide us too. The Holy Spirit's going to show us and what what's the right best way to act and in our life and circumstances, but we do need examples, examples to follow, and we have to remember that we too are examples. We're following examples of the saints and Jesus and uh, holy people around us, but we are giving examples as well. We are an example, whether we like it or not, we are an example. We are going to influence those around us and people. So example is a very critical thing. We we can't help but show uh, other people how to live, especially those who are influenced by us. And for good or bad, we will be judged by the examples that we have set, how we have lived our life. So we, we can't just hide. Uh, we, have to, uh, um, we have to be examples. We have to be those shining lights to the world of how we live. And so we're practically forced. We're forced to be holy. We're forced to be good. Otherwise, we pay the price at the end of our life for the bad examples that we have set. And so we can see on a daily basis how we have to, we have to do, do many good things. We have to practice good things. We have to do all, um, yeah. And the, th the things that we do with our body, or the things we do with our speech, the works that we do, what we don't do, uh, all of this is an example. We need to keep that in mind. Be conscious that we are always an example. St. Francis was keenly conscious of uh, setting the example for the other friars. The way we dress, you know, people who wear uniforms, they have to be really careful. Think of policemen, uh, other types of, think of religious, have to wear, wear a uniform, have to wear a habit, have to watch everything that they do because they're watched everywhere they're, they go, have a higher standards before than others. But we all, have, we all wear a uniform, we are all children of Christ, we are all Christians, and we all have to uh, set the example for everyone around us. And so uh, we remember that, ask Our Lady to, and our guardian angel to continue to remind us that we are, we have to set a good example in all that we do on a daily basis. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,